It's Finn McCool and Sally Missile, or whatever the hell her name was. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Entertainment. It's time for a Cars 2 movie review. You guys loved the original Cars. I mean, I got over a thousand views on that review. Can't believe it, but Michael Caine plays Finn McMissile. Oh, yeah. Emily Mortimer plays Holly Shiffwell. John Torturo plays Francesco Berman Bernardino. And Larry, the cable guy, plays me. Our Owen Wilson returns as Lightning McQueen, but I tell you what, he doesn't really do an awful lot in this movie, Lightning McQueen. Um, you've also got Lewis Hamilton in there playing Lewis Hamilton, which was a nice touch being an F1 fan. There's a lot of other people in this movie. I mean, you've got Eddie Izzard in there. No, no, not, no, not a fan of that. And, uh, wait, for, fuck, Fernando Alonso was in, and Sebastian Fell. Actually, I think they were in, like, the Spanish and the German versions, weren't they? Instead of Hamilton. So there you go. Fernando Alonso, Sebastian Vettel, and Lewis Hamilton were all in this movie. Well, what did I think of Cars 2? Did it live up to the hype of the first one? For me, no. I, I mean, I, not that I'm a big mark about Cars movies, but this one was just weird. Like, you kick off with a secret mission on an oil rig with Finn McMissile, um... And then we finally cut back to Radiator Springs. Lightning has returned. Lightning has returned. But I tell you what, guys, if you're expecting a lot of Lightning McQueen in this movie, then you probably came to the wrong movie. Because guess what? It's not really happening. Like, yes, there is a World Grand Prix, right? And we've got Lightning against a host of cars, right? Including Lewis Hamilton, couldn't, including Francesco. But this, is, this essentially is just... This whole movie is about me. And also, Doc was killed off screen. Why? Like, I get it's a kid's movie, but there was cars getting killed on screen in this one. Like, why couldn't he have been, like, one of the victims of, you know, the whole camera, um, what do you have, the camera, electronic pulse, the EMP, thing. Could he not have been a victim of that? I mean, could Doug Hudson not have been in this World Grand Prix? But no, they, they, they killed off Doug Hudson off screen. I just... Do not get why they've done that. But like I said, if you're expecting Lightning McQueen to be in this a lot, no. I mean, we, we get to the first race. Um, the first race, I believe, was in Tokyo. Yes, it was in Tokyo. Mater's embarrassing McQueen. Lewis Hamilton's even. Who was with this Bowser? Which I thought was quite funny. Um, but then he cost Lightning in the match because when Mater goes to the, the race, sorry, when Mater goes to the toilet, the real American spy, of course, that's the whole beef. You've got the professor. What's going on? There's this fuel getting used as well, which turns out it's bad. He's the main, he's the main bad guy, damn it. He is the main bad guy. Bad guy. You got the, the, the British Jeep. He's the bad best. Fuck him. He's the bad guy. Um, but Mater gets dragged into this spy business and costs Lightning the first one. So after this, Lightning's like, you cost me the win, the Francis go. So go fuck yourself, Mater. <coughs> which Mater takes this literal, not literally, literally, but literal. He's like, nope, I'm not having this big man. I'm away. You do your own thing. But Lightning, after a few days, can't believe it. Mater's not with him. And then that's, that's when Mater goes on like crazy missions. In the second race, Lightning makes it 1-1. Um, but a lot more of the cars are beginning to blow up. Finn McMissile and Holly Shiffwell get captured here. And so does Mater. And everyone's wondering, why is Mater not in London? But a lot of the cars have get getting blown up. Right? So the fuel that was being hyped up for this event is no longer being used. Apart from Lightning McQueen, who decides that he will, no matter what, he will back his friend, the main man, and he will do it, damn it. He will do it. This movie actually has quite a lot of people in it. You've got, you know, Bruce Campbell as well. That's quite impressive, Big Bud. That is quite impressive, Big Bruce Campbell. It can't be a bit of Bruce Campbell. That brings us to our final race. It's in London. We see the Queen. I like the fact there's a lot of people in these movies that, um, that are like represented in cars form, like whether it be boats or whatever. Freedom! And you know what? It was it was pretty good. Freedom! As I uh, screamed on my phone there for about wee three seconds. So as much as I, I found it fun, this movie, I don't know, it just it just felt weird. Like yes, we, we did get to see Radiator Springs, right? For a decent portion, which I I, I definitely wanted to see. Because I, I remember watching this movie, but I mean this movie's like what, 12, 13 year old. I can barely remember watching it, so I tell you what, I actually remember playing the game more, and I don't really know what they could have done to make me enjoy this movie more. Like it was a fun movie, but it just it just doesn't have the original vibe to it to me, and that's why I'm going to give it a six out of ten. Like it does eventually end, where the race basically gets scuppered, and 
Lightning is chasing after Mary. I'm sorry, Mary. Mary's like, I'm, I'm got the bomb. He's like, Yeah, you are the bomb. No, I am the bomb. And then the only guy that be able to activate it is in fact the bad guys behind the fuel. Because in order to make the fuel look bad, he wants them to resort. Whoa, 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 whoa! Refer back to the previous fuel. So fuck all this organic fuel, man. But the whole reason Lightning didn't blow up is because he was using flows, organic flow, man. And then yeah, everybody's safe. We're celebrating back in Radiator Springs. Mater gets to keep his jet engine pack, and um, that's pretty much it. Um, I, I, I've no, I've only seen like one clip for the third one, and it's like Lightning McQueen being too slow. But I tell you what, this was all right. I, I enjoyed it. It's a, it's a six out of ten movie for me. Maybe that's harsh, but it just doesn't come close to the the first one. And, and I actually like Mater, and it's not even a. Uh, I know some people may have a problem with Mater being like the main guy, the Mater main guy, but. I don't know, it's just some lacking. There was a very serious lack of Lightning McQueen. But anyway, guys, till next time, peace.